Hi, welcome to another lesson with Dr. Hill. What we're going to talk about today is uh, drawing a hydrocarbon structure from its name. We're in our organic chemistry series and um, this is a skill that we need to know because names are very useful. The name, they, they, they can often look very, very complicated, but they're just made of uh, numbers and letters and dashes and commas. And that makes them easy to put into a text document. Whereas structures are much more difficult to do, you either have to draw them out by hand or have a computer package that allows you to draw them. So the name is useful. And you'll quite often see the names of these hydrocarbons and you won't be given the structure. So you have to be able to work out the structure of a hydrocarbon from its name, at least be able to visualize it in your head. But the, the place to start, of course, is by drawing and practicing drawing them out on a sheet of paper. Now I'm gonna take you through the steps for drawing a hydrocarbon from its name. In exams, you tend to get two kinds of questions. You'll either be given a relatively simple one and, uh, and asked to draw it in full, or you might be given a rather complex name and, and asked to pick uh, from a, a picture uh, of four multiple choices. So either way, if you know how to draw the structure from the name, you won't have any problems with either of those two types of questions. So let's hope we can do this in 10 minutes and we'll go over to the board and we'll have a look at our first problem. Well, here's our first problem. And immediately it looks kind of complicated when you're not used to looking at these things. So uh, practice makes perfect in this case, and then you get less uh, stressed out by looking at these rather complicated naming system. So remember the place to start is at the end of the molecule, at uh, the end of the name. The last word tells you what the longest carbon chain is. It also tells you what type of molecule is what family it comes from. The A-N-E ending is from the alkanes. So we know this is a saturated hydrocarbon where all the carbon bonds are single bonds and all the bonds in the molecule are single uh, to, to hydrogen. It, it's Because it's an alkane, there's only carbon and hydrogen involved in the molecule. We'll worry about those things later when we draw more complicated uh, structures. So we can go ahead and we can draw out our longest chain, which is five carbons. Let's start here, then we'll work, we'll worry about this bit in a minute. So let's get our five carbons out. One, I'm gonna give myself a bit of space here. Is that five? Yep. Single bond between them all. Okay, now, we have a uh, two substituent groups on this, uh, on this uh, chain. One of them is a methyl group and the other one is an ethyl group. Remember the naming, uh, the, the alphabetical name comes first, ethyl comes before methyl, uh, even though the ethyl is on the third carbon from one end and the methyl is on the second carbon from one end, okay? But we'll start with uh, the methyl group. And one thing to do is give yourself plenty of space here uh, to draw this in. So uh, I'm gonna, I've got a methyl group, which is a single carbon substituent and it's on the second carbon from one end of the molecule. So I'll go one, two, it's on this carbon here, and I'm going to put it uh, well up here so that I can draw uh, with plenty of room around it. Okay, so that's my methyl group in, it's on the second carbon, so that's done, that two refers to that methyl. The three refers to this ethyl, so this is the bit we have to do now. So the ethyl group is on the third carbon, one, two, three, and uh, ethyl means two carbons in the group, so I'm going to come down another nice long, and I'll put that there. We don't need to be too long with the rest of it, so we'll just put that there. So there's our ethyl group. Now we can go ahead and put our hydrogens in, and you'll see why I've used so much space uh, to do this. Now I'm just going to put the hydrogens in with single short bonds. And we can do that at each end. In fact, we draw the bonds in. There's a fourth bond there, there's a fourth bond there, and we'll put our hydrogens in. Okay, what have I missed? I've forgotten about this fellow up here. And again, so remember, get to the end of your problem and make sure you check 
to ensure that every carbon has four bonds, four bonds, four bonds, four bonds, four bonds, four bonds, good, 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 that you've got your, check your name, pentane, one, two, three, four, five, good, methyl, one methyl group on the second carbon, there it is, and an ethyl group on the third carbon, ethyl is two carbons, and there it is, one, two, three, ding. Now, one, two, three, four, five, you see that this could have been the chain here, but because it's simpler to do it this way, uh, that's what's chosen. All right, so tick, well done. Let's look at another problem. This one looks a little bit more complicated because it's got these three numbers up here and only one substituent group named and is a pentane again. So let's just take it methodically. We'll start with the pentane. So I'm going to take my carbons and draw five carbons in my main chain. All right. There they are, all five of them. Now, let's have a look. What does this mean? This means that there are three methyl groups attached to this chain. Three methyl groups, trimethyl. Three methyl groups attached to the chain. Okay, and where are they attached? Well, these are the numbers that give us this. There's one attached to the second carbon from one end. There's another one attached to that same carbon. And then there's one attached to the fourth carbon from that end. So we'll start with the four and we'll put a methyl group on. We'll just work from this end and we'll put it on. So four, and uh, I'm going to give myself a long chain again. And then we have two and two. So I'll put myself a two on here. And I'm going to give myself another one. One, two, three, four I'm doing, am I? Here. So let's, that's the carbons all laid out. Let's just check. Pentane five, five carbon chain. Um, methyl, three methyl groups. One, two, three, got them. You could actually do it this way, and it'd be one, two, three. Um, so five, one, two, three, three methyl groups. The first methyl group is attached to carbon number four from one end. One, two, three, four. Always start on your left when you're drawing. Uh, and there it is. And then the other two methyl groups are attached to the second carbon. So we can go ahead and put in our hydrogens. Remember, every carbon must have four bonds, so make sure you get them all in. Because it's an alkane, A-N-E, they're all single bonds. Every carbon is attached to four things. And you can just go ahead Pop them in. Now check it. Are we finished? No, we're not because we haven't done this carbon down here. Very easy to forget them. Okay, so get your hydrogens in. So we check it again. Pentane, one, two, three, four, five. Correct. Trimethyl, one, two, three, three methyl groups. That three doesn't mean the number of the carbon. The number of the carbon is always a numeral. Okay, so th th this means three methyl groups, not a methyl group in the third carbon. Don't get that mixed up. Okay, this is where the methyl groups are attached. Carbon two, carbon two, and carbon four. Carbon two, carbon two, carbon four. And we are done. Okay, I hope that... Um, was clear. Any questions, of course, put them in the comments below or, or send them to me if you're in direct contact with me as your teacher. Um, and in our next lesson, we'll move on and we'll talk about a slightly different version of the alkane. Uh, so I look forward to that. And hopefully I managed to do this lesson in 10 minutes.